probably goes about saying that's a frustrating afternoon, but what are your thoughts on the, on the game overall? Yeah, disappointed to have lost uh, the football match. Um, I've just said to him in there that you know we, we have to deal with every week games of teams that we come up against raise their levels. And it was evident today that Warrington Town raised their levels. They ran more than they probably have all season. They've tackled harder, they fought harder. And certainly in the reports that we've read, and the clips that we've seen over the last few weeks, they weren't in great form, but like every team we play, they raise their levels. And if we don't match it, we get undone. And that's happened today. So, you know, I'm disappointed that, you know, we've got a run of games coming up away from home now where we have to match the opposition. And then without quality, we need to play football. And, you know, I'm disappointed. I don't think we strung 10 passes together today, which, you know, is, is miles away from where we were on Tuesday and, and last Saturday. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really disappointed. Um, you know, the lads have clearly had a tough game on Tuesday, and you can see that. You know, it was the Warrington never played during the week. They were a yard sharper than us today. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, again, I'm going to say I thought the referee, and I'm not just saying this. I've been in football a long, long time. He's probably one of the worst refs I've seen for decision making today. It was all over the place. It was never ever a penalty. Uh, Milo's got the ball. He's won the ball. He gives a penalty. Um, it was never a free kick on the edge for, for, for their goal and just some of the general decisions he made was terrible. Um, but we scored two goals away from home and, and on another day you know, we could have walked away with the other draw which is a good result against a tough team. Um, so you know, there's lots to learn, um, you know, there's lots to, there, there was positives today, obviously we scored two goals away from home um, but we need to learn from it and we can't afford to let that happen again because we go to Radcliffe now on Wednesday night and they'll be exactly the same, they'll be desperate to beat us, we need to match them. And so now it's down to the players to recover and get ready for it. As well as a result, another disappointing aspect of today was the two injuries that were picked up as well. What are your thoughts on those and, and what are the sort of initial prognosis on those two? Yeah, well, Tom Broadbent looks like, you know, he's, the legs, I think he's just he's cleared the ball and he's trod on him, so he's got a gash in his leg. Um, so, you know, he's very, very sore at the moment. Um, you know, it's just my initial thoughts that he probably won't be fit for Wednesday. Um, so, he, he'll probably be ruled out. Uh, Briggs, who came off, uh, sore of foot. Um, I think the lad trod on his foot as well, so he, he's got a little gash there as well. So we'll, we'll assess that. Hopefully, he'll be okay. Um, so yeah, we were up against it from minute one. You know, we've had to put Dylan on, who's been brilliant for us. Um, you know, when, when he has played. Um, so you know, ideally, you don't really want to make changes in that area because you want your, your offensive players to come on late on if you need a goal. Um, so you know, hopefully, in the touch with them won't be too bad. Of course, we can't afford too many afternoons like this, but a lot of other results went our way today as well, didn't they? So I guess it just shows the, the volatility of this league. Hey, we're not going to win every game. We know that we're going to lose football matches. And the beauty of this league is we've got three days to try and put it right. You haven't got to stew on it for a whole week. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll recover. And you know yourself that every time we've had a disappointing result, we've always tend to bounce back. So we've got to dust ourselves down and get ready to go again on, on, on Wednesday. You know, we'll prepare them right off the pitch. It's about the players when they cross that white line. The mentality has to switch to, we don't, we're not getting beat here tonight. And, you know, I suppose the disappointing thing is, oh, I watch these players train every day, even in the warm-up, popping it around, passing players off the uh, team off the park. Just didn't do that today. For some reason, we didn't do it. Sometimes you can't put a finger on why uh, it happens, but we need to learn from it and, and be better on Wednesday, that's for sure. Just finally looking ahead at that game on Wednesday, I guess you have to be ready for another team that will be fighting to the nail yeah. to get the three points. 100%. You know, every team that plays us is, you know, is, is, is desperate to be here. You've seen that today. You've seen it in their crowd, but they've not had a crowd like that all season. Um, so, you know, credit to our fans coming down again, got behind the players. Uh, unfortunately, we just couldn't give them that result. Um, but. You know, one thing's for sure, we'll definitely be fighting and battling on Wednesday night to try and put it right and, and try and get a result. Um, you know, the, I think you know, just the week we've had, the travel down here as well, you know, they were fresh. The referee was horrendous, you know, things went against us today, but ultimately we got a chance to put it right on Wednesday.